All right, guys. Does everyone feel a little better with that? Oh, yeah. And so some of you just forgetting at the very end. It's very easy to forget because there's so many things at once. Getting my back taken if my hand doesn't come to this side. It has to come on the other side of his hip, so when he tries to come up, it blocks him. If I'm here, he can just pull me and take my back. All right. I'm telling you right now, that takedown, if you get good at it, you will take down D1 wrestlers. You will take down judo black belts. You will take down anyone if you get good at that. I can't say that for any other takedown, me personally. Like, I've taken down guys that definitely shouldn't have been taken down by me anyway. I'm not like a D1 wrestler or anything. But I'm good at the arm drag. And if I can get a D1 wrestler's arms like this, even they can't stop it, all right? It's got me two points a lot of times in a tournament, okay? It's full commitment. The key to that is full commitment. We're not just here. It's, it's like you're gonna get it. Like just go, do it as if you're gonna get it. And usually you get it. If you miss it and they sprawl out, you're, you're fine, just get back up. All right, we're gonna hit the ground now. Last night we did the triangle. So for the long leg guys, you were happy. The short leg guys, you weren't happy. Today, the short leg guys will be happy because we're not doing the triangle. We're doing the omoplata, okay? This is a short, short leg move. Not even short, just a thick, stocky leg, okay? I do it still because I like it. And I have skinny longer legs, it still works. Just like the triangle will still work for a thicker, shorter leg guy if you do it right. But at the same time, this is what it's designed for. Triangles are designed for longer legs. Omoplatas are pretty much designed for the shorter legs, okay? So when do you get an omoplata? Okay, if his hands are on, on you, postured up, it's a lot tougher to get it. If his hands are on the floor, it's very simple to get, okay? If his hands are on the floor, or if his hands are on you, but, and you can get a knee inside, it's much easier to get. Okay, I'm not gonna really get it from here. It's not just gonna happen, unless you're like, super flexible and you can throw this over, but even then he just rips this out. So what we want to do at a basic level, turn this way please, is get the insides no matter what. We should be getting the insides no matter what anyway. Even if his hands are on me, I want the inside. I just want to be on the inside. Right, because there we are. Right now, just feeling this, I'm not even looking at it, just feeling this, this arm's getting a little plotted. It's on the floor. I know I can get the opposite knee in. Okay, so if I want this arm, I have to get the opposite knee in. How do I get it in? I need to get the insides. I'm in the inside. I can do that whenever I want. Sometimes when he's going for a pass, he'll just make this happen for me. He'll grab the leg or he'll start coming wherever, just to get control of you. And now one knee's out, one knee's under. That's what we need from a plot. That's the recipe. Just like the triangle recipe is one arm out, one arm in. The omoplata recipe is one knee in, one knee under. So one knee over the shoulder, one knee behind the shoulder. He's almost as good as omoplata right now, okay? So all I have to do now to finish it, I don't have the insides anymore, which I should, but if I had the inside, now he's definitely done. All I'm gonna do is kick my leg straight. This is why a thicker, bigger leg would probably work best. I'm just gonna blast him. As long as this knee's out, I have it. If, he has, if he's covering this knee, this isn't gonna work. Like this cover, it's not gonna work. Oh, I pop that out and then I don't wait. Because if I wait, he's gonna get sensitive. He's gonna rip this arm out and he's good. So now, right now, everything's great. Once this knee's out, I blast him and then I just change my angle. See how long my leg is? It's a lot harder to wrap his arm. If my leg was like this, how much easier would that be, right? That's why it's kind of better for shorter leg guys. But just watch that again. We're here, he's in the guard, he's looking for posture. Boom. Right there, if I'm him, I know Omoplata's coming. I put my right knee in first, that's it. Boom. Hug tight, leg comes free. Thank you. Bring myself up, hand up. And there's a million finishes here. I can break his wrist, I can break his shoulder, I can go for chokes, um, I can release his arm. Come out and go for back takes, chokes, okay? But the recipe is what? Yeah, if his hands are on the mat, everything works better. One, now look at this. Don't just, really give him a, like a straighten your leg and with the inner thigh, give him a push. Make him really, at the same time, look at my head did. I didn't just do this. I moved my head and looked at his ear. Now, if you have to use your other foot to kick, 
Now we're going to do that same sequence we did in the beginning of class where he tries to roll me over. Start messing around with all this stuff. He rolls out, it's fine. Two points. Home applauded to him rolling is a sweep. Okay? So again, one knee in, one knee out. Look at this. This is the recipe. And then I just <clears throat> pop him. It's on this side, same type of thing. Now it's gonna be tough to get now. Why? Yep. One knee's out, one knee's under, but when I do this, this angle of his hand isn't gonna let me wrap my leg around it. That's why the inside is so important. Do it at the same time. Pop it out, and I curl it. And then this opens up a whole game. You can kick his head, you can boom, boom. You can start looking for sweeps, sweeping them over, wrist, toe holds. I know a lot of those death squad guys go right to here now. Start looking for leg locks. It just opens up everything, the omoplata. It's not really like anything I'll ever say, oh, I'm gonna finish this omoplata. It's more so this is gonna get the game started and I'm in the, I'm in the advantage, okay? I'm in favor. He's running, so when he's running, there's other stuff you can get him in. So again, if he has the inside, there's no omoplata. That's why he's supposed to get the inside for him. For me, oh, I should be here. Controlling the posture. Inside. Inside. Okay, if he's not giving me anything, I'll just shrimp. Look at this. Look how easy it is to pop that knee in. Once the knee's in, give him a good pop. My head's gonna go around to his butt. At the same time. Wrist locks. He tries coming back up. He brings it back down. Got shoulder locks here, a lot of times I can hook under his neck, straighten my, my leg. But this starts it up. Who's in a good position here? Me. Who's in the bad one? Him. He's either got to tap or run. If he taps, I win. If he runs, whether it be bring me over, I get position, I get a submission, everything's good. And it doesn't cost me anything because if I miss the omoplata, say I just miss it, I totally screw it up. Let's come back in. Cost me nothing. Come back in. All right, I screwed it up and it didn't cost anything. I love moves like that. Sometimes arm bars, when you go for them and you miss them, it can cost you a guard pass and cost you other stuff. Sometimes arm bars, when you miss them, come up quick. It can cost you position. This one. Doesn't really cost too much. Any questions? All right, let's do it. One, two, three.